Hey, hey, what is going on guys? Lethal Flux finally here again to bring you guys the Bujin deck profile. Um, sorry for the prior two months that I haven't uploaded a video. Um, it's just been uh, crazy with work and uh, a lot of other things lately. Just normal life things. Um, um, and before I get into it, um, for those of you guys that don't want to hear this part of the video, just skip on to the deck profile. Um, but for those of you guys that do, I have been um, really busy with a lot of things lately. Um, I haven't really felt the need to upload for two months i don't know why it's just been that way but for those of you guys that have stayed um all 633 of you um i really appreciate it that really shows that you guys are just waiting for me to upload which means you should like my content if you're waiting two months for me to upload a video and uh once again to those of you that stayed i really appreciate it and um here's a bujin deck profile for you guys so uh to start the monsters off you got three amato um Searcher of the deck, obviously, is the main card. Always three, never any less. Um, yeah, really good. Searches anything, dumps everything. And for the second Bujin monster, you run Bujin Mikazuchi. Um, he's really good. Um, special summons himself upon a Bujin monster you control being destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Also searches your Bujin spell and trap cards. So, yeah, that's really good. Also, you can search during your opponent's um, turn as well, for those of you that didn't know. So if you create on your opponent's turn, you can search for Bujin Carnation or the Sword, uh, whatever the case may be, just get whichever one you want. And uh, for the third Bujin Monster, a lot of people don't run, but I'm assuming after Pryo people are going to run, is Bujin Arisuda. Uh, right now they don't run it, but I think it's good because you can set it, it has 1900 defense, and I don't know. It's decent, it's just another Beast Warrior target if you don't have any other Beast Warriors. Can also be craned. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for the uh, the Bujin monsters. For the uh, Bujingi monsters, of course you got the Bujin Honest, kind of. Uh, Bujingi Crane, uh, really good. Should never run less than three. Um, <laughs> doubles the uh, original attack of the Bujin Beast Warrior type monsters. Turtle, probably the best um, graveyard activation Bujingi card. Um, prevents targeting so of any kind um, monsters spells traps whatever uh, banish from the graveyard negate targeting uh, next is the negation of destruction uh, bujing your hair so first turn if I, I usually dump this because I don't want my opponent to dark hole um, and then after that I'll start dumping the turtles and whatever else I may need uh, for the um, one ofs of the bujingi monsters I do still run a centipede and I run a one quillen. Um, this is because Primal Origins is not out. It'll be out next weekend um, on Saturday, which I will have another uh, deck profile for you guys with uh, Hiroom and the new XC monster uh, Amaterasu, which is going to be really awesome. I can't wait till those come out. This deck's going to be fucking amazing. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. For the non Bujin monsters, um, there's only one. Well, there's more than one, but. Brother of the Firefist Bear. Um, a lot of people don't run this anymore. I don't know why. It's really good. Searches out tanky, pops monsters. And sometimes you force them to use their bottomless or whatever on this instead of Yamato or your Susanoo. Which is decent. Uh, for the hand traps, I chose Double Valor. Um, good. <laughs> and one honest. These cards need no explanation. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for the monster lineup. For the spells, we were trying to be really, really consistent here. Uh, I go triple duality. Just no explanation for that either. Bujins don't need to special summon, so uh, sitting on a Yamato is fine. So if you activate a duality, uh, duality into Yamato, summon Yamato, and phase search, uh, Yamato is going to be well protected if you have everything in the grave, which you usually do. So uh, Another thing, of course, is the, uh, the tankies. Uh, again, consistency. Um, also, you can pop them with bear, because I do still run bear. Uh, to add more consistency, I know, even more consistency, um, triple upstart. Um, I might, I'm probably going to cut upstart because soul charge is out, and you just, you give your opponent life points, your opponent life points to uh, to use their soul charge, which isn't isn't really good. So that'll probably be um, cut to make room for uh, Hiroom and all the other things. Uh, next, uh, I run two Kaiser Coliseum. Um, I only run two. I side a third, but if you draw it, it's amazing. If you don't, it's okay. You can still survive without it, which is why I only run two. After that, one Bujin Carnation, and I know a lot of people run two, but 
Um, I feel it's sometimes it's kind of hard to you know do, but other times it's not. So you, you can't control a monster, and I don't know. It's a really really good card. I would never cut it for anything, but I'll definitely always play at least one. And uh, the lance just to protect your summons, because if nothing's there in the graveyard, you got your lance right. Uh, after that, we got a plethora of traps. Uh, I ran three fiendish chain. Um, good negation of effects. Can't attack. I mean, what more could you ask for? Yeah, I can get MST'd, but that's okay. Uh, also, I ran this card at Seattle, or this deck at Seattle Regionals. I started out 5-0, and then I kind of scrubbed out towards the end. So it was a great time, though. It was fun. Next, one bottomless, one all morning. Probably gonna get cut because um, life points are precious. Uh, this next upcoming meta, <laughs> one vanities, one full house. Yes, I do run full house. This card's great because there's a lot of field spells um around. Um, you got harpies and then you got the noble knights just got a field spell. Also, I have tankies, um, other decks that run tanky, and it's just this card's really easy to resolve in this deck, and it's amazing when you can resolve it. Usually when. So that's it for the main deck. Uh, on to the extra deck. Some of the things are questionable, um, like me running only two of the Susanoo. A lot of people run three, I run two, um, just because I feel I only ever need two, really. I mean, <laughs> he's good for dumping stuff and adding stuff, but I usually just sit on Yamato for a little bit before I go into that guy, so it's good. Really, really good XC card. Uh, Kagetsuchi can make it with Bear and all your other Beast Warrior type monsters. Gets really big sometimes, and uh, if you have Kaiser on board, it's it's really, really, really hard for your opponent to get over. Uh, Tsukiyomi, this card's going to be way better when Pryal comes out. And then for the, uh, I suppose you could say staple, uh, Diamond Direwolf, because you can target a Bujin Yamato um, and then go uh, Hair if you really, really want to. So Bujin Yamato wouldn't get destroyed, and then you could destroy an opponent's card. But usually I just target itself. Um... Number 82, Heartland Draco. I fucking love this card. Just look at it. I mean, look at it. Look at that card. That guy's so cute. <laughs> He's also really good with Kaiser Coliseum. Because um, he can attack directly and it cannot be targeted for attacks while there's a face-up spell card on the, your side of the field. So he's really good. Forces your opponent to get over him. Uh, one Abyss Dweller. Uh, one Crazy Box for Skill Drain. Because Skill Drain rapes this deck. Um, one Mace Choke, Steel Swarm Roach, Star Leech Paladino, because everything's light. Uh, Constellar Omega, again, a lot of things are, are light. We're using up some camera space, so I'm just going to move those. One Tiger King, uh, I go into that sometimes, um, really helpful. I go into this a lot, Silent Honor Arc, because once again, you can just sit on Yamato, and if something's in your way, you can just arc it, like if you can't crane over something, just 101 it. And it's good. <laughs> and then, of course, the uh, Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Surprisingly, I've gone into that a lot as well. Yeah, I'm that guy that likes to finish you off with Cowboy. I know, it's looked down upon, but hey, it's a good card. So that's it for the extra deck. That's 15, I believe. Uh, for the side deck, monsters, we only go to Maxi. That's all for the monsters. Nothing else. <laughs> I know, not very many, but that's okay. Uh, for the traps, there is a plethora of traps. Double debunk, a lot of things activate in hand and graveyard. Uh, mind crush, a lot of things add to the hand. <laughs> um, two or old decree, not three, because I like to keep at least one fiendish chain in the uh, in the main deck when um, it goes into game two and three, because fiendish chain is just helpful, which is why I only went with two. I don't know why I moved those. There's more traps. Oh, there's only one more. Vanity is emptiness, the second one. Love that card. Uh, for the spells, um, basically this deck, I made it to side against the side. So you're going to notice a lot of back row hate. 3 MST, 2 Twister, and the third Kaiser Coliseum. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. If you would be ever so kind to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you think it's necessary. And I'll be uploading again soon. Take it easy, guys.